Hey, it's this guy. Friend of that guy. D20 Monkey, 27 months. Thanks for all you do and thanks for all the good times. One of the best communities on Twitch, D20 Monkey 07. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Thank you very much, dude. All right, let's go over to the base. Uh, excuse me, uh, Rectum. Nice butt. All right, let's go. We're going to go see if we can find a teleporter over here. I think we can. Look at this guy and his fish. Look at Darmanork and his fish. Nice fish, Darmanork. Looking good, brother. Oh, I'm going to die. This one up here. Anime Deer says, Code, you think A16Z would be interested in adjacent spaces, like a large network of gaming bars, or are they more just looking for development studios? Anime Deer, I would say suggest, uh, if you have like a fully fleshed out idea, or know of someone who does, definitely go through the invest link with it. Um, they, the, the, I am part of A16Z Games, so I do have a very gaming focus. My thesis is getting great games to gamers, like that's my focus, but if you, if there's a really good idea, and if there's good development behind it, by submitting it through there, you will get eyes on it of people who have resources to potentially do it. So it may not be a good fit for that, but I mean, you're showing it to the right people at that point. You know what I mean? Scatter, thank you so uh, thank you so much for stopping by. How are you today? Hello, hello. What if I just have a great idea? I I wish you the absolute best of luck, but that is not something that we're looking for. <laughs> Sorry, we are we are not looking for ideas. No. Things that the, for those that don't know, I'm I'm uh, I'm a participant. I'm actually kind of like helping assist the A16Z speedrun program. And what that does is they're picking anywhere from 30 to 50 companies to receive $750,000 in funds to develop their ideas. So I actually have a link that you can submit uh, projects to. And yes, we are looking for like decks and, and projects that are along the way. These are games. Game if you're a game dev studio or know a game dev studio that's looking for funds. If you, um, if it's like gaming adjacent stuff, game tech stuff, creator stuff, um, yeah, definitely worth checking out that link. If you know somebody who is uh, in a position like that, or you are yourself. Mm -hmm. So you're a busy guy, got lots of stuff going on. I am very busy these days. Yes. We, uh, I'm, I'm wearing more than a few hats. But it's a lot of fun, dude. It's really busy, but it's, a, it's like... It's a lot of fun. Yeah. A jack of all hats. Sure. So he says, I'm having a bit of a difficult time building on eternal land with overlaps with object messages on land not flat, sadly. Julia! Killers! Make your make yourself like make your base like like just foundations and pillars and then all you have to do is find like a little foundation and then you can kind of like like build up that's my plan if i was that's that's what i do if i ever can't find flatland build up and out god what was the game we played oh, i think it was fallout i think it was fallout 76 where we built like one foundation on the ground and then that one foundation went up and the whole it was like a tree it was like a tree house <laughs> i loved it Completely unfeasible and looked ridiculous, but I mean, it worked, right? You do what you gotta do. I think I just need to hit this thing and we're good to go. Perfect. All right, on to the next main quest. Let's do it. What is? What are you doing here? Dude. Uh, I want all this stuff. <laughs> I want all of it. Um, unfortunately, they don't have a good scope. I don't. I, I wanted like a. I wanted a good reflex, but I don't see any good reflex. Like maybe this. Oh, I can go on the scar. Give me that. And then I want a tactical flashlight, infrared indicator. What does that do? What does an infrared indicator do? Tactical flashlight, that could be cool. Let's get a suppressor. That'd be fun. Let's get a suppressor. Dude. 
This is so badass. I love it. That is so badass. Okay, I'm sold. It indicates infrared lasers. Okay. Seiko, you're gonna be mind blown because there's no restrictions on building in Eternal Land. What? Nani? What? What does that mean? <laughs> can Can we talk about this a little more? What does that mean exactly? What do you mean no restrictions? That's a That's a very loaded term. You need to be careful here. You're, you're saying that too. It sounds like free real estate, and that's that's dangerous. Hmm. Has there been any talk about a release date for this game? Q3 of this year is what they're shooting for. Yep. But even though the devs are fully confident about that, I'm going to tell you <laughs> that things might change. And and everyone I've talked to at this company very much seems to be a when it's done kind of thing. So, but yeah, they are shooting for Q3. Oh, dude. Oh, this is happening. Is this going to be like a big one or is it going to be a tiny one? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh god. This is going to kill me. This is probably going to kill me. I think we're okay. Have you thought about having a channel point redeemed that someone can redeem to see their Kovatars on screen? So, Barry is actually, he's been working on that for like months now. Um, I don't know the status of that project, but eventually what's going to happen and, and maybe I need to talk to Barry about, maybe we can get back on this. So we have channel combos in this, um, channel. Uh, basically what you can do is one person can start a lelele or a fishing thing or a loot combo, or I think there's a few others. And what we're gonna do is anytime a combo happens, the person who did the first emote is gonna have their Kovatar slide out in the bottom right of the screen. So like that up there, un like under that would be the Kovatar of the person that started that combo. And the plan is to not only do that kind of stuff, but eventually, just like you said, we would like to have a channel point redemption thing where you can like, pop your Kovatar out with like a small message or something. That'd be kind of fun. Just something very unobtrusive and tiny. And in fact, we may we may use the uh, overlay for that. I think we're still talking about how we're gonna do that. But yeah, we have, we have some stuff coming. Yeah, we have some stuff coming. I'm curious, you're always saying you're old, but how old are you? I turned 40 this year. Yep. So I'm, I'm, We'll go with, we'll go with it. Uh, re, I say I'm old all the time, but realistically, we're, 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 we're middle. I feel middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, you look 50? I know. Yeah. Big, big, big time. Completely agreed. Dude, this gun is the business. Uh, is this where we are? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this area while we're here. We're looking good for an eighty-year-old man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Very nice of you. I feel like that would do well. Butterfly doing some work. Bada boom. Bada boom.
Wait, ain't no way. I thought Curdy was. I thought Ko was like 30 plus of age. I am 30 plus. 10. <laughs> I'm 30 plus 10. Yeah. It's 30 plus. Ko has barely any gray hair. I, I'm soup, dude. My, it's, it's, that's really what it is. My, my hair is, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I have a half brother who was like totally bald, uh, bald by early 30s. Take cover. Take cover. No, I just really lucked out with that. Pro is now sponsored by Just For Men. I know, right? It's really interesting, though, because um, I was talking about this actually just yesterday with somebody. And it's it's very interesting that, like, as, as we all get older together here in this channel, like, I'm sure my sponsorships will eventually be, like, stuff for old people. <laughs> Do you need a way to properly get your diapers cleaned? Well, I have good news for you. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be good. Are things slowing down for you? I have a little blue friend that'll help you out. Yeah, just go to code.tv slash get it up, and we'll go from there. Whoa. All right. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, we need to redo this real quick, I think. I need to make some of those things that give us, like, passive health regen. Um, I think we switch some of this out. No, not this. Uh, this. Oh, no. We're using the right thing. Oh, no. We don't, we don't use bouncer shrapnel anymore. We use, um, there we go. That's what we need. We, we need this one. Cool. Okay, great. That'll work a lot better. Oh, I, was there really no gear or anything in there? No gear crate or anything? Hmm. Not sure where any of that stuff is here. There is no code.tv slash get code or get it up. Not yet. Not yet. Give it give it a few years. Give it a few years. What are staroids? What is this? Can be used to open the prime war. Oh, that's what it's for. Great, glad I answered that. Um Oh, it's for BVP? Okay. I do need to decide, I've got my uh, assault rifle as my, my quote unquote short range, or my long range weapon right now. You're a I've got a shotgun as a short range. Time for a drink. I need to decide if I want to do a shotgun assault rifle combo for, for short, for really strong short and good mid, or if I want to do like an assault rifle as my short range. So this would be my short range weapon and then have like a sniper rifle. Not sure which one I want to do. Nice. Creamy spaghetti soup. I don't know what that is, but it sounds delicious. Nice. 
Hey, Whoop, what's up, buddy? How are you? Where is my gear crate? Wait, what, are you working the counter? What is this? You know, I feel like this game does, or excuse me, I feel like this uh, this gun does work short range. I think I think I could go with a sniper rifle actually. It'd be kind of nice to to take out longer or uh, larger enemies at range. Snipers in this game are pretty great. If I remember right, maybe they changed them. Hey Nathaniel, how you doing this morning, dude? Hello, hello. That's where we came in. I guess it was. Nothing in here. Let's go this way. Our main quest is over there. We still need to find the mystical crate. I love that they call it mystical. Oh, dude, is this the hospital? This was a very cool area in the last beta. I've heard they made some changes. I'm curious to see what they've done. You have the Power Surge mod for the Scar and the Power Surge Cradle Node set. Do I have the Power Surge mod? I don't think so. I could get a status damage enhancement, but I figured a 9% damage was better. So... Like, we do have, uh, this. Oh, no, that's Flame Resonance. Is there, like, a specific power one? For, for power, or whatever? Maybe. Did Co make a review of this game? I don't make reviews, but I do make thoughts videos. And uh, I do have a thoughts video up from this game from the last beta. I'll be making a new thoughts video probably tomorrow. Yep. Dude, the, the environments are so good. Like, this this environment actually looks fantastic. It's very real. It's very organic. Yeah, they did a good job with these, man. I love the music. Yeah, music, music's good, too. medicine shit there's nothing but garbage in the entire place his name is baldy but glenn said in his dream has glenn ever gotten anything right in his life shit we're the only ones who listen to his dreams over and over again where the hell is he anyway damn it he was right here did he go out into the parking lot okay. now those will probably be voiced. They they do voice those most of the time, but they made a bunch of changes between the last beta and this one. So uh, a lot of this stuff has not been animated or voice recorded yet. But I'm guessing if it's anything like the other stuff that we'll be able to that it will be done eventually. Set up to the roof. Ooh. 
There we go. That's what we needed. Beautiful. What you got for me? Grill gloves. 15 blueprint fragments. It's weird. I thought we only saw the breastplate. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. You still need to get the blue... No. So I was under the assumption that we were looting... Oh, wait. Oh, there's no grill set. That's why it was just the gloves. Those are unique gloves. Those are unique gloves. Yeah, okay. That's why. Okay. Cool. We're good. <laughs> I was totally like, I thought I understood this. No! <laughs> no! All right. Uh, let's go back through here. I don't see a coalition warband anymore. There it is. It's full. <laughs> is that the problem? Yeah, I very much hope they they make a system to where we can somehow all play together. 30, 30 spots in a warband's a little uh little tight, little tight. The music is very Fallouty, especially the more recent installments. Hmm. Web attack, watch out for. Dang it, man. Leva mucha munición y vida. Watch out for web attack. Come prepared. I mean, I'm pretty prepared. Oh, by the way, thank you to everyone who picked up a code off our store. The codes are gone. Thank you to Starry Studios again for uh, giving us those codes. Very, very cool of them. We appreciate it big time. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, there's one of those. Got to remember that. Don't let me forget that chat. Arrived at the designation location as planned. Stabilization anchors are in position. No traces of reality or distortion. Strange. The concentration of Stardust here is extremely high, and yet there's almost no sign of an energy reaction. It's just stable. Dr. Marshall warned us before we set off this deviation sites at the edge of Monolith BL 1103C sphere of influence. He also said Omega reaction activity may drop very low levels for a period of time. Oh, all right, then. I don't remember. Wait a second. Who's Dr. Marshall? Marshall gave you of course. He's the direct research station manager of this unit. How could you forget, Captain? Klein, look at your shoulder patch. You're our captain, not me. What? What? The... That was weird. I don't know what that means. It almost sounds like they're doing multiple realities, but I don't think that's the case. Hmm. Now they're just losing their minds. Look at him, he's the captain now. Yeah. Oh, 
God. He's fine, chat. He's fine. Toe's mind just got boggled. Yep. You look fun, ow. What am I shooting on you, girl? What am I shooting on you? Oh my god. I uh, got a weak point on there somewhere. It was a pretty. Did it hit? I don't think it hit. Dude, I am so glad we just upgraded our gun. Like, oh my lord. I feel, I can't imagine how long this fight would have like, our old gun. Thank you. Hell yeah. Beautiful. I gotta re-log. I think I have a bug quest on the left side there. Secure pros progress insufficient? Wait, what? Oh, press escape to leave the dungeon. I get a... No. Hey, Coach, are all channel only going to do reruns from now on? Uh, it's going to be mostly reruns for now. But I'm we're going to be doing all sorts of things with it in the future. I'm not sure what. we got lots of ideas for it. But right now, it's going to be mostly a rerun channel. Yes. For now. Hi, just a word to say hello, says Spoofle. Well, hi, Spoofle. How are you? All right, great. Uh, let's go to... Oh, what do we need to do here? We need to activate the Rift Anchor, and we're done. So let's see about getting that done. But first, let's get that. That fight took me 37 minutes in the last beta and 20 minutes in this beta. I needed that gun. Yeah. Any anytime you're doing like a main mission boss, one of the first things you want to do is make sure you're using like the highest tier weapon you can. And then upgrade at the max that you can. It makes things so much easier. Alright, where is the... There it is. I haven't seen Co struggle once this beta. The beginning of this game has been way more, uh, just been easier. It's not really a, a better way to say it. It's the, they really did change the beginning of this game to be much easier. So I'm guessing what they're, what they're doing is they're trying to make like the level up and farming stuff pretty easy. And then hopefully they'll have some very interesting end game challenges where you can really test like the limits of your builds and things like that. And if they do something like that, I'm fine with it. I don't need my level up and farming process to be super difficult. You know, that's, that's, I don't really do. I do looter shooters. I do, I do looter shooters for the difficulty, but generally just like boss fights and stuff. I don't really care about like running around the world looting and upgrading difficulty. Farming difficulty, I guess is a way to say that. Yeah, we gotta make a sniper rifle, man. A sniper rifle would have been perfect here. Pop some heads on the way over, man. Wouldn't have even seen us coming.
Oh, have you heard about how long after launch they'll be porting to console? 